Hi everybody, Gail Minogue back here again. I thought I'd do something different, unusual, which was to talk about the personal year for me. And to give you an example of some of the things you go through in this personal year, everybody has a personal year, and how it differs from the year before or the coming year that's gonna be that you're gonna step into in the future. So you have years one through nine, and just briefly, one is a very big new beginning. Yay, I'm going to start new things. Great, I'll start a business job, move. And then two is sort of like combining your forces, getting deep roots and all that. And three is expansion, the plant you did, and the seed is now coming up. It's great. You're out there changing things. And then four, you work your rear end off. Five, you make some constructive change. Six, you get all the responsibility from it. And seven is your year of rest, recovery, restore selfishness. So I'm in my personal seven year. And I, you know, I think, well, it's not going to be any different. It's the same old day of the week. No, it's very different than last year. And last year I was loaded with a six year of responsibility and I had to take care of this. I had to take care of that and the family and the, and it never stopped. And my husband's in an assisted living facility, senior center with brain damage. So that was one thing after and it was like a cascade of problems and they would go worse. And it was just like, I would just go from here to there with re wheelchairs. It was horrible. And then I, because of that, my stress level got worse and I kept getting bronchitis, bronchitis, bronchitis and COVID. So finally the six year ended and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go into seven years. So I'm still a hangover from the six year in January and February. You still feel the effects of your prior personal year. So in January, I'm making plans. I'm going to do this in person. And I arrange a venue that I'm going to do this in uh, June. And I'm going to do this and I'm that. And so that goes in January and February. Pretty busy, more responsibility, but it's manageable. And then the seven year moves in in March. And March, I don't even want to talk to anybody anymore. I just want to be alone. I want my privacy. I had to move to a place when he, when he had the accident, I had to move to a place that I owned as a rental, never thinking I would live in it. However, I sold the house because I couldn't take care of it anymore or afford it anymore. And I moved into this and, and I had it, re, that was another thing I remodeled and all that was all that stuff. And so the seven year comes in, which I'm now in into 2024. <clears throat> I don't want to do anything. I just want to read. I want to get books. I just want to flap. I don't want to do anything. I want to just stream. I don't want to join. I canceled the program I was going to do in June. I don't want to deal with it. I don't write my blog very much. I hardly do YouTubes. I still do private sessions, but I don't care. And that's kind of the attitude. See, a seven year is about restoring yourself. Most people don't take time out. So the universe comes in and makes you very tired so that you will have to concentrate on yourself. You will have to tend to your self-care. You will have to pay much more attention to you. And it seems like a pipe dream until you get into April and now it's worse. And somebody said, well, you'll make new friends. I said, I don't want to. I don't want to make new friends. I don't want to make new friends here. I'm going to move. I'm not going to move yet, but I'm going to move. And I don't want to do that in a seven year anyway, because I am too tired. And so I actually went to a spa. I actually went back to the doctor who I was supposed to see before and I didn't. I finally went back. I'm going to get my eyes checked. I'm going to do this. I'm doing these things now because it's my seven year and I want to be self caring. Some people call this self-ish. I don't care. I, this drama that goes on inside a family, I have to step out of that circle of drama and be a witness instead of marching in and doing things that you would normally do. You would be responsible. I want to be irresponsible. I mean, I want to have that luxury of irresponsibility. And at my age, to be irresponsible sounds like heaven. And what does that really look like? So I am making wise choices, but thinking them through more. Is that what I really want to do? Or is that what I wanted to do in my sixth year? But it doesn't work now. Now is time out. Now is for me to study, which I'm doing 
tremendous amount of reading and thinking and processing oh, it's fabulous and with do that you need alone time you need not to be so involved every one of you who's going through a seven year is going to go through something similar to this the point of it is recognize what you're telling yourself so i'm trying to make wiser habits better choices stop spreading myself all over the place being responsible to myself first which is really hard it's really hard for women to do it's hard for um single women to do it's just so you know we have our, we have always been the conscience of the society and we've always been the mothers of the society that tries to really guide so when you're used to that role it's very hard to step back and say no i am not going to this is my year so i even renewed my passport thinking i might take a trip to europe or turkey or japan that was kind of my japan and turkey were kind of like no i don't care but i do have my passport so do you see the difference this is so different than the year before why i was on the spot i was doing all these things for everybody who had an emergency or whatever i had to take care of i don't want to do that i'll pay you so sometimes i'm just paying people to replace me and do the service for me and help me where before i used to do it all myself no i'll give somebody else the money and so next year i'll be in an 8 year which is going to be about business success promotion all that but right now in my 7 year i'm going to restore myself so i can do those things next year and be patient how do you know what year you're in you add your month to the day to the universal year which is 2024 so if you're born march 3rd that would be 3 plus 3 plus the universal year 2024 that's easy you'll know what year you're in remember if you're in a 7 year take it easy relax say no if you're in a 9 year wind up stuff finish up 9's the last number if you're in a 1 year you launch you don't launch in a 9 year i've said that forever do not launch in a 9 year month day to the universal year right now it's 2024 you can do this next year when is 2025 okay but until we get to 2030 you're not going to see all the big changes that are going to come in America and the rest of the world but America is the catalyst so they're going to come here first okay you're going to see them here first and you're going to see the effects of what we do out there so i hope this gives you an idea this is my personal 7 year so i can't talk any more i have to go and restore myself thanks for listening i'll see you next time you know one of the things that i get a lot of comments about is is going over their own personal name and date of birth and timing and personal year and all that so i wanted to suggest to you if you're not with me with someone else to please get a private session um it there's all types of sessions to get and that will really help you never ever go into apartment or new house that to make a move without talking to me or knowing how this place the number on this house or apartment relates to your own personal chart you do not want to move into a place that will activate existing karma in your chart it's very important so please get back with me cuz some of the comments i get could be really clarified with just a private session so i look forward to talking with you please send your questions they're always welcome thank you